Hello students and friends. In this video, I'm going to show you a short demo on the indexing of ring pattern of selected area electron diffraction analysis. For this, I'm going to use one tool called Crisbox. Once again, this Crisbox is also a freeware. Uh, to do the indexing of ring patterns of SAED, I am going to use the GUI called Ring GUI of Crisbox Server. So I am opening the Ring GUI. So this is what the window using which we are going to do the analysis either uh, in automatic mode or uh, manual mode. So from here this particular browse you can open the image to which you are going to do the analysis and here the image size should be default image size is dm3 uh, image uh, the, this particular dm3 image type uh, image type is the file what we are exactly getting from the instrument directly but uh, sometimes we will be having some uh, uh, tiff image or jpeg images right so for that we have to go for all files and you have to open the exact file maybe here for this analysis i'm going to use tiff file format and so i'm opening that uh, file so i have opened the file from the browse button and we have to add the reference database file also that is the crystallographic information file uh, what we have uh, downloaded from the amcsd database or cod database at the end of the basic x-ray diffraction analysis so you have to open that uh, crystallographic information file from here the material go to file and open the file here this is the ring pattern right ring pattern dot this is what the file name and the file what we are going to use for this particular analysis i'm opening that too okay so now since this particular image is the tiff image the image will not have the calibration factor as in the case of uh, uh, dm3 file dm3 file automatically have the calibration coefficient in it but uh, any other image formats will not have that calibration so you have to calibrate the image yourself by coming to tools manual image calibration right if you so if you, if you press this one pop-up will be opened and uh, placing your cursor here you just roll your mouse wheel so that it will be magnified and from this end to this end you need to draw a line a straight line maybe here you just see so it should be exactly a straight line and this straight line length is a 2 1 by nanometer right 2 nanometer inverse in the reciprocal lattice so i have given that value here 2 so now we have calibrated you just simply press done and here you will be getting the exact pixel resolution in the reciprocal lattice scale okay now we have calibrated and this image is having the scale bar also so we have to neglect the scale bar out of our analysis so you just go to tools again and you just press detect scale bar okay now you are ready to go for the analysis and here the analysis is having two type one is manual mode another one is automatic mode okay so for the automatic mode you don't need to do anything simply you just press launch all all the steps will be done one by one and uh, at the end of the automatic analysis you will be having the indexed pattern here but uh, the automatic uh, mode will have some uh, you know um, problem in it sometimes the center of the rings will not be fixed correctly so that i prefer you to go for manual analysis so first i'll show you the manual analysis and then I'll, after that i'll show you the automatic analysis also okay so first thing is manually you just simply press detect beam stopper you just see the in the status bar you will be seeing the exact status of the software it is detecting the beam stopper now now it is detected the beam stopper now the next step is available for you right so here central localization means 
here the ring is here the center point of the ring should be exactly predicted okay so for that if you press this automatically center will be fixed but i'll show you this too now you just see center localization so it is localizing the ring center it is going to complete now yes now the center is getting fixed at this point yes you just see but now you can see that the center is not exactly at the center of the rings okay center point is not exactly fixed at the center of the rings so that i am going to adjust center manually now you just see here you can clearly see the center is not at the ring centers now i am increasing the um, radius of the ring this particular uh, green color ring to maybe 170 I'm pressing enter yeah maybe somewhat okay so i am going to adjust the center with this up down or left or right arrows maybe now you just see the center point is somewhat fixed correctly maybe if i am increasing to 180 you can realize you see the first ring and also this green color ring is matching exactly to each other right so by, by doing this you can exactly fix the center of the rings then you just press done okay now you just see it is now adjusted you are seeing some two or three peaks in the uh, pattern okay line pattern now from this we have to adjust the, i mean uh, here you just see here uh, the intensity of the pattern is uh, exponentially decreasing so from this particular uh, pattern line pattern we have to uh, extract out the background uh, signal so for that you can do the background extraction automatically but i am going for manual method you just see now here you just take the tick mark out of the snap to profile so if you have this particular uh, snap to profile point means you can put the points only on the profile so i don't want to uh, snap over the profile so i am removing this removing the tick mark from here right so here now in this particular plot at least you have to select four points so that you can have the background corrected diffraction pattern line pattern so here while selecting the background points you just ensure that all the minute minus scale minus peaks are above the background line here this is the background line the black color one and here you just see this particular minus scale peak is not above the i know peak right maybe here i am going to select now you just see that is also above the background line right so like this you have to select the background and you have to have the background corrected profile okay now you just simply press done now you just simply press peak identification okay now we have identified the peak so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 peaks so if you want to show the peaks in the image itself you can simply press show in the image now you just see the linear line pattern is shown in the uh, SED ring pattern also so both are having one to one correspondence you just see here one ring is there exactly we are having a peak here one ring 
So exactly at that diameter, we are at the radius, we are having another peak, right? So like that, we have exactly predicted the exactly predicted all the peaks. So now, if you want to have the indexed uh, pattern, you just simply press show overview. Now you just see you have the completely indexed uh, ring pattern of SAED analysis, right? So this is manual mode, but for the you know uh, automatic mode, you don't need to do anything. Simply press launch all automatically all the preceding steps will be done automatically right at the last you will be having this image alone once again right so now how to save this particular indexed uh, uh, image and also the uh, linear pattern and all just go to file export i'm sorry generate html report right you just simply press that in the desktop i am going to create the report right simply press save now you just see all the images one by one it is going to be saved and here i have the files so if you press the export file it will be opened in uh, any internet browser here you just see all the files are available for you on the publication okay now here the d spacing and its uh, hkl planes are given for you and the individual image files you can get it from here all the peaks are there okay so hope this video will be helpful for your research and also in your lab purpose thank you